Shaoten is set to be an off the beaten path hiker's paradise, and with views like this on arrival, it's easy to see why. Today, we're hiking Fitzroy, and I will tell you everything you need to know about this little town in Argentina. <laughs> Like any dedicated hiker, we got up bright and early before dawn. Time to get up. Oh, I you. Okay, so we got up a little later and started the hike. It's early still. <laughs> That's where we're headed. For starters, what makes Al Shalten amazing is that the hiking trails basically start right on the edge of town. So you just walk out of your hostel or hotel and walk to the end of town and that's where you can start hiking. I'm already out of breath and it's like not even, we haven't even made it to the start of the trail, so that's good. <laughs> we started the trek and pretty soon made it to the first of many incredible views. So I was sick for about a week while we were here, which meant I couldn't do any of the hikes, so we're kind of squeezing in this one hike while we can before we have to move on, but um, what that did do is it really got me to get to know the town really well. I stayed in about three different hostels and hotels and ate at probably every restaurant. One of the things to know about Shell 10 that um, personally I will say is it is quite expensive. So if you are going to come here, um, just be prepared for that. Um, I would definitely recommend booking a place with a kitchen um, because eating out in respect to like, for example, Calafate, which is about three hours south of here, um, where the Perito Moreno hike was, you can just tell the price difference. It's probably about, I would say, 20 to $30 per person for a decent meal out. Now you can obviously go much cheaper out, so I would definitely recommend that and just treat yourself to dinner every once in a while. But there are a ton of restaurant options, everything from burger places to vegan, vegetarian. I mean, the dining is really, really great here. Man, I thought I'd be doing better. I can't breathe though. But yeah, we must go on. <laughs> and when we got to stop number two, we encountered probably one of my favorite views. Another thing to note is that Shelton is a fairly new town, so it's only about 35 years old, which means that internet is spotty <laughs> at best. Um, it depends on the hotels though. I've stayed in a few where the Wi-Fi was great, um, and then in others where really it's in the lobby and barely works. <laughs> Um, there is only one ATM in town, so um, cash is always something good to come here with. Uh, a lot of the restaurants only take cash as well, so something good to note there. But while it is a fairly new town, it's actually set up really nicely. It's fairly easy to get around, it's fairly easy to do anything, so overall it feels a lot less remote than Torres Alpine, that's for sure. We continued the trek ever so gracefully. <laughs> All right, last two kilometers. I think this is where the fun starts. And by fun, I obviously mean the part with warning signs. Not even close yet. But you know, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be raining, like it was in Torres. Yeah. At least it's hot as <laughs> Me. We're rock climbing. <sighs> Holy <laughs> <sighs> 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 
four hours later and only slightly worse for wear. We made it. And just like in Taurus, I gotta say, the view does make it worth it. I think we have earned some lunch. <laughs> now the great thing is here, um, a lot of the restaurants or even hotels offer lunch boxes to go. So we <laughs> lunch for two. <laughs> so we purchased this. Um, I think it was 400 pesos each, which is quite expensive. But we went to a vegetarian place, um, and that came out. I think what, that's 800 pesos is about 27 dollars. So. A pricey lunch, but I think it's gonna taste so good. <laughs> As you can probably see, there are a lot of people here. We've just found a quiet corner. But um, yeah, so this is one of the most popular hikes here in Shelten. Um, it's the Lago de los Tres. Um, and it is a shame that I was sick for so long, so we've only been able to do like one hike in each place. But I guess we're doing the, if you have no time and you only have time for one hike, this is the one you should do. So there you go. Do this one. All right, guys. We've had our lunch, we've taken probably way too many photos, and now it's time to walk back for four hours. But, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> stay tuned because I'm gonna give you a bit more information about Shelton on our way down. So it's gonna be fun. Let's go. So the last bit I want to tell you guys about Shell 10 that's important to know is how to get here. And basically, you've got a couple of options. So Calafate is the nearest big town. It's about three hours away. Um, there's regular flights into Calafate. And um, from there, there's shuttle buses that run regularly. There's buses, um, or you can rent a car, which is what we did. The average, what I found, it's about $50 a day, because uh, you need, obviously, insurance. And then, um, if you're planning on driving into Chile, you have to um, pay for a permit to cross the borders. Um, and, obviously, there's the cost of gas. There aren't many gas stations. And, basically, if you find a gas station, get gas <laughs> because one they do run out of gas as well because there's usually only like one gas station in each town there's one I think in Calafate there's one here in Shelton um, and yeah so we've actually sat at a gas station before waiting for almost two hours um, while they were refilling it to get gas so that does happen that can happen so just be aware of that if you do rent a car but yeah so I think we are probably potentially halfway Maybe, um, but I'm gonna spare you guys the rest. We'll just pick this back up in town. And with that ends our last adventure here in Patagonia, because tomorrow we're actually heading up to Mendoza for lots and lots of wine drinking, so make sure you hit subscribe and join me on that adventure. But for now, we finished the hike. Nothing has tasted as good as this beer earn that. I already drank most of it, but still. That was it. That was um, everything we managed to do here. Like I said, it sucks that I got sick for so long because that kind of ate up like most of the time down here for hikes in Patagonia, but we did end up doing the two kind of biggest ones. So if you haven't checked out the other video, I'll link that here too. And yeah, until next time, be good to one another, be good to our planet, and keep adventuring. <laughs>